It's weird, you know, I've been thinking about the last 24 hours that um, everything we're doing right now is the direct result of timing. Like, everything has lined up for now to be the right time for us to do exactly what we're doing right now. And that's not to say that we couldn't have done this sooner. We certainly could have done this sooner. But since we launched the video, I've just been thinking now's the time, now's the time. And I don't want people to hear this and think that, you know, they have to wait because it's not about waiting. It just happened this way. You know, timing is everything and the time is now for us to do what we're doing and, and help a lot of people in the process. I'm nervous. <laughs> I never get nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm, what's the feeling? It's like, what's going to happen next? Like, what is going to happen with this video? So, I've got a job for you. Mm -hmm. Episode one. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just do a recap. As of this morning, we're at 125,000 views. But what's interesting is the Insight video has been performing really well. And I didn't think we'd hit 120,000 in the first week. No way. But the community engagement, and this is the thing, community management, a lot of people don't realize that one of the keys to successful social is community management and managing the relationship in the community. And I was spending, and again, nobody wants to hear this because everyone wants to go, oh, it was fucking easy. You just posted a video, sat back, and it all took care of itself. No, it didn't just take care of itself. You know, I've commented on almost every comment, answered every question, I've replied to every single message. You know, I was probably spending eight to 10 hours a day, Saturday and Sunday. I was up until 12.30 on Friday night, responding to people and doing community management. And that's the part that nobody wants to hear. Again, because I know there are gonna be people who are watching this and they're gonna be looking for that magic pill. Oh, social media, it's the next big thing. I can just do that and I'll post a few videos and, and then I can sit back and everything will take care of itself. No, there's not one strategy that I've executed, whether it was in the old days of classified advertising or in the next evolution, which was for me, and I went from direct response marketing, it was very much a direct mail and classified advertising. And then I moved into the digital space where it was email and AdWords, you know, and then we moved into Facebook advertising and now we're moving into like a pure social, which is all about the quality of content. And everybody wants the hack where they can just do nothing, but it just doesn't work that way. Whether you're doing it the old ways in the olden days or you're doing it the new ways in today's age, you still gotta be willing to work hard. But what was interesting is we had three major agencies actually reach out to us and commend us on our social engagement. One of them, I don't know if I even told you this, offered me a job because they didn't realize it was Kerwin. <laughs> they didn't realize that the guy who was actually doing this was actually doing the community management as well. And I know some people are going to be watching this and thinking, oh, you know, he's surrounded himself with a whole bunch of talent. But the reality is, apart from the filming and the post-production, which is all on you, I'm doing virtually everything else, the strategy, the deployment the community management. And again, it's not that I want to do this forever, but I think it's certainly important that I do it now so that people can realize that they can do it too. I'm a hugger, is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Good to now, you're see all right you being too. on video? Oh, <laughs> no, I hope it. You look good, you know, you're all, you're well put together. I, I'm a navy girl anyway. Are you he really? talks about navy compared to brown. Oh, navy is such a better navy. color. Navy. Yeah. It's a winner all the way. It sails. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? You feeling good? Yeah, good. That was fantastic. He's a good one, this one, isn't he? Yeah, it really. It's made me calm and. Awesome. Like... He didn't make you cry. That's a bonus. One step at a time. Yes. One brick at a time. Yes. One day at a time. Yeah. You just need the right structure, the right framework, the right plan, yeah. and you'll be amazed yeah. at what you can do. Yeah. Planning is our secret sauce. Because most people, they start off with the very bare bones, but then the more they do it, they, they start to understand the small things that make the yeah. big difference. Yeah. But productivity hack. Have you been watching the videos? Yeah, they're oh, fantastic. Thank you. It's really good. Yeah, and we... it's, what's going to happen next? <laughs> yeah. the, the greatest gift you can give me is share. Yeah. It's just sharing it. I can't believe I have to leave here. Fucking hell, in like seven minutes. What the fuck? Okay, what was I doing? I looked at my list. Without this list, I would be completely lost. This is my secret sauce, by the way. I have my entire year planned here, my quarter planned. <gasps> oh my God, I, I just realized we can tick off some quarter tops. We've launched, oh, we've launched video. Oh my God, we've launched text. Fuck, what else have we done? Wow, that's two ticks for the quarter. I just wanted to say thank you to Cohen because that has actually resulted in probably at least $3 million worth of business. That was an interesting video. I taught this guy basically a handful of questions and he was working in his parents' business at the time and then he left his parents' business, started his own using this method and he created a $3 million business in about two years just using the questioning process. It was actually the sales matrix, the sales matrix. I can tick off something else. Efficiency right now. Man, I tell you, when you have no time, it forces you to be productive and the way that you hack that is you ensure that your day is full of stuff that you have to do so that you have no time, so that you are forced to be on point. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. 
I just want to connect with social for a second real quick. Just when it comes to doing any posting at all, I want to approve everything and anything before it goes up. Cutting and pasting the same message is spammy. Yeah. What is social media all about? It's about conversation, it's about communication, yeah. engagement. So if we're posting the same thing, of course we're going to get hit. But this is community management. This is how you manage community and you don't miss anything. Oh, new hack. I'm not doing likes anymore. I'm doing loves. Yeah. Because it creates a pattern interrupt on the page because of the colour. This is a blue ocean okay. and red stands out. And it's just love. Who doesn't love love? <laughs> Have you got on film the, the donkey post before? No. Come and have a look at this. So this is a post that I did in 2013, November 14th. This was the post that basically put, gave me, put me on the map for followers. And it was a random post. It was a long, long form post about a donkey in a well. But check out these numbers. A million and 33,000 reactions. 1.895 million shares. Every day I'm still getting people comment on this. Every single day. Wow. It's a gift that keeps on giving. So maybe you need to, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it in front of everyone? Yeah. We all ready? Yes. Okay, I just, just need to do a little bit of house cleaning before we go any further. Um, we just let go. And I think it's really important that we get this out right now because it wasn't really handled in the best possible way as far as I'm concerned. Marie came in this morning and got a little bit ambushed, would you say? Yeah. By Jane and and to give you some context, like Jane, when we repositioned you in the team, we could reposition you based on the value that you brought with how much it, we were investing in you. Does this make sense? With how much we're investing in there wasn't another role in the business that we could put her in where we'd get a return. So I want it to be really clear and upfront. This was a business decision, it wasn't a personal decision, and I think that is sometimes the worst cop-out ever when people say it's not personal, it's business. But the truth is, with the amount of investment that that asset was requiring, we just weren't getting a return that was anywhere near close to what is required for the investment and the outlay. So look, it's unfortunate, total transparency, I'll tell you anything you want to know. I'd rather the conversations not happen at the water cooler, I'd rather they happen here. But I think it's really important, if anyone's got any concerns, please bring them up. And if there are any concerns, the last thing you want to do is talk about it amongst yourselves and then bring it to the team. Open and honest communication is what it says on the box. It's about being open and honest, not about having conversations behind closed doors, building up ammunition and then jumping on someone. It's about, hey, listen, I've got a concern. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm thinking. And just bring it out there. And just being raw and authentic. Because this could have been handled much better than it was this morning. It's never easy letting go of good talent, especially when they're a great cultural fit. The reason why we're doing this is so that they can start negotiating and mm. getting into the... Sorry. Can you start at the beginning? I'm so sorry. You lost me at the... I, yeah, sorry. Can you start yeah, again? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who knows social, a professional social, knows native is the way to go. An agency, and by the way, most agencies won't tell you that because they don't want to work. They want to basically set everything up, schedule it, and let it run. There's no way no one in an agency would tell their client that native isn't the way to go because native takes more work. I'd rather be on brand and slightly pixely than off brand and really crisp. Because it's important you at some point get to understand like branding isn't Kerwin Ray. Branding is, everything you see in here is branding in terms of the people, the culture, the way that we do things. It's just understanding how that comes together. And what we're dealing with, we've got a personal brand. So a personal brand is very different in the way that you present it to the market than a product brand or a services brand. You know, it's not like we're selling KFC. You've got scones but no cream. Does anyone even eat scones? You've never had whipped cream on a scone with jam. It's the best. Stop it. Make sure everyone can see this. <laughs> Just so everyone can see this so that they know how to get on my good side. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is bribery. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a card and a little Buddha book. <laughs> I hope you have. <laughs> have you got it? No, but that's hilarious. Almost a little Buddha book. Anything this small had to be a Buddha book. <laughs> the Dalai Lama's Book of Transformation. <laughs> Dear Kerwin, if there's anyone that I've ever met before that needs more transformation than you, that would be. No one. Please transform. Marie. No. Aw, oh, we're fulfilling our dreams together. Come here, you. It's a bit of a tough time. Ah, it's a great time. I'm having fun. No. It's fun and... And challenging. Yes. <laughs> and challenging. That's so good. Challenging. Yeah. <laughs> That's so kind. Thank you, money. Transforming lives. We are. Take notice, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> one day I should bring you home to film, like, what happens when I'm working from home. 
when I've got Noah around because I literally had him climbing. He's a climber. He's climbing all over me. And here's the thing that I've learned with Noah, with, and maybe this is a parenting thing. The kids have a cup, and I call it the engagement cup. And if you engage with them for long enough, that cup fills up to a point, and when it's full, they'll toddle off and they'll play by themselves. Sometimes it takes half an hour to fill up the cup. Sometimes it takes five minutes to fill up the cup. Yesterday, it took like an hour and a half, two hours to fill up the cup. And I think for me, I get conflicted, because even though this is really important, when you've got your son sitting there looking at you, and he's just going, Daddy, you know, what do you do? Family first. I just want to, for now, I want to go after and protect the most obvious assets, which is obviously promotion, but also TV and film. Yep. Trademark. Oh, who's cooking fish? That's gross, man. Poor. <laughs> mate, listen, so sorry for the call to be under these circumstances, mate. Uh, I, I've just checked in with a team member who was taking care of it, and look, she dropped the, I dropped the ball, let's put it that way. It wasn't clear enough for the team to ensure that they close every loop. But look, I, I'm a big believer that you know, everything happens for a reason, and I, I'm, exactly. I'm sure that you know, with time, this will be the greatest gift that could have ever been given to you, and you, know, you, you could be creating the next generation of organic children and organic... Yeah, yeah which is something that's very important. Kids need to start eating healthier. Absolutely. So, well, thank you for your call and the interest in Oh, look, appreciate it. it's, it's a pleasure and as I said I can't apologise enough for the experience that you've had and um, I don't think we've completely turned him around. I think he's happy, I think he's stoked but I think he needs a little bit more love. So we might get Marie to do some ball tickling or something. Oh, you get that? <laughs> I'll make a caption. <laughs> ball, yeah that'll be a great one. The way to the customer's heart is through their balls. If someone is complaining, they just want value, they haven't received value, you exceed their expectations of what they're expecting from their feedback, and they will love you. Instead of saying to someone, well, f you, stop being an idiot, you just go, okay, I understand where you're coming from. I appreciate that. Me personally, I love great service. Let me give you what I would expect. Send this out to him with a beautiful, lovely note. Get a card, we'll both sign it, and we'll make sure they get sent out express post, yeah? Here I always thought you guys are working, you're watching bloody YouTube videos. I will remove anyone from this environment as quick as a flash if they threat to this culture. I will not wait. The loyalty is not with me, the loyalty is with the culture. The loyalty is not with Marie, the loyalty is with the culture. If we're abiding by that culture, then we get the loyalty. If you're abiding by that culture, then you have my loyalty right now. The reason you have my loyalty is because you're abiding by the culture. And so I fight for you to be here. Someone might, 12 months from now, someone might say something and you've got two choices. You can go, yeah, you're right, I've seen that before. You can go, well, listen, I have seen those behaviours, but the reality is there's so much more going on than probably what you realise. My advice is don't say anymore, go and speak directly to Kerwin. You know, and then, hey, Ker mention, hey, Kerwin, I just noticed John was a little bit concerned about this. You might want to just nut it out with him just to make sure he's okay. But yeah, I just need to know that you've got my back, that you've got Absolutely. Marie's back, but ultimately you've got the culture's back. Cool? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate this chat. Hey, that's cool. No worries. You know, you're here for the right reason, so we want to make sure you understand why we do what we do. You know, because yeah. sometimes you just see levers being pulled and you don't understand the reasoning behind it. You know, I don't want people to assume that we have a drama-free business, because we don't. You know, every business has dramas, but I think we should be filming more of the dramas, especially when it comes to talent exits or talent acquisitions or the challenges that we have when it comes to talent on their way in or the way out.